Everywhere in our society, we are surrounded by large amounts of induction electric motors. They are used to drive all our fans, pumps, compressors, conveyor belts, elevators, what have you. They consume vast amounts of electric energy. It has, in fact, been estimated that two-thirds of the electric energy we use within Europe are, is consumed by these electric motors. By controlling the speed of all these electric motors, it is possible to save large amounts of energy. And in addition, you will have a better functionality in your system. The most common technology to control the speed of the electric motors is by using frequency inverters. But there are some prob serious problems to be considered when controlling the speed with conventional so-called pulse width modulated inverters. They will create some electromagnetic interference into your surrounding network and your surrounding air, and this electromagnetic interference may disturb your wireless communications or your laptops and other equip sensitive equipment we are all surrounded by in our daily life. First, we will start up the conventional pulse width modulated inverter. This is a technology used by all our competitors. As you can see on this oscilloscope here, it is fed by a square-shaped uh, voltage curve. That is the reason behind why uh, this creates in electromagnetic interference, which is fed back into the network and also into the surrounding air, disturbing sensitive equipment. This conventional type of inverter also has to be installed together with an external filter. In addition, all cabling must be done with the expensive so-called shielded or screened cable between the inverter and the electric motor. Now the question remains, even with this external filter and the expensive shielded cables, will we really get an interference-free installation? By the way, do you hear the terrible noise it creates also? It is very characteristic, this high-pitched noise from the conventional inverter. We will turn it off and I'll show you an interesting alternative, the NFO sinus. The first thing you will notice, of course, is the big difference in the noise level. I'll come back to that. On the oscilloscope here, you can see now the nice, perfect sign-shaped curve that is fed onto the motor. That is exactly what the motor is designed for and what it needs. That is also the reason why you will not have any problem with electromagnetic interference from the NFO sinus. Uh, all uh, frequency converters of conventional pulse width modulated type has to be installed with expensive so-called shielded or screened cable. This is expensive to buy in itself, but also the accessories are very expensive and not to mention the many installation hours necessary. This is completely different with the NFO sinus. We use uh, conventional three-phase cable. This will save you a lot of money, not only on buying the cables, but also on hours and accessories. The NFO sinus can also be installed together with RCDs or earth fault devices thanks to its very, very low leakage to earth. Uh, we guarantee a less than 2 milliamps leakage to, to earth, whereas conventional inverters usually are above 50 milliamps per inverter. In addition to this, we can give, together with the NFL sinus, a five-year guarantee against ball-bearing damages. We can do this thanks to that the NFO does not create any uh, shaft uh, currents at all, whereas uh, after some time of running, you may have problems with that with conventional pulse width modulated inverters. So instead of trying to reduce uh, interference with the external filters and shielded cables, use an inverter that doesn't create any of these problems at all right from the start. Use the NFO sinus instead. <laughs>